guys are going to get a couple videos from me uh, tonight. Two of them will be movie reviews and one will be a video um, featuring all of those DVDs you can see some of the spines of right there. There you go. This one is for Bubble. Bubble is uh, b basically a bizarre love triangle uh, that starts out at this doll factory where they make dolls. Uh, this new lady comes in and she starts dating Dustin Ashley. Uh, and nothing really happens for the first 45 minutes besides her acting a little bit weird. And this is not a horror movie. This is more of a crime thriller drama. This woman right here has been working at the factory for a long, long time. And she... Uh, Goes and watches uh, Rose's kid, who is a new worker at the factory. And something happens, and you're trying to figure it out. The sad thing is, the thing that happens, the big thing that happens in the movie, doesn't happen until about 45 minutes in. So so you only get about 30 minutes of it. You get 45 minutes of build-up. If, if this was a two-hour movie, fine. Give me two, or give me 45 minutes, but not for a... 73-minute film. Bull crap. 73 minutes was a good enough run time for it. Or for any movie, in my opinion. Until I sit down and watch it. This one needed about another 50 minutes. Maybe another 20 minutes. If you got half set up and half the actual uh, thing, I, I'm, I'm trying not to spoil it. Then that's fine. The acting is good. It's Steven Sodenberg did a good job directing this film, and uh, the the script was well written and everything, but it's nothing fantastic. This is out of print, and you could have found this at your Dollar Tree on Blu-ray. This is going for like 30 bucks new on Amazon. I could probably get 15 for this uh, if I sold it at like half price books or something. Maybe eight bucks. I don't know. But uh, that's going straight in the cell pile. I'm not going to watch it again. It was a good enough watch. I didn't hate watching it. But what just pissed me off was getting to 40 minutes of buildup. And then you only got 30 minutes left. Which doesn't give you much time to try and figure out, did this happen? Did it actually happen? Uh, Bubble is a fine movie. I'm going to give it a B-minus. Stay tuned for the next review.